All right, I'm here with Devlin, and he's going to show us their uh, two-axis gyro, gyro system. It's a, we call it the gyro speed, and the, the benefit of our system over current gyro stabilizer system out there is just the pure simplicity of ours. Um, a lot of systems have quite a bit of adjustment, you know, in them, which is good in the sense that you can, you know, adjust it to the nth degree. But in reality, when you're a novice user, you're just picking this up, it can be a big headache, and you might not know what you're doing. You might just adjust it too much. And basically, we simplified it down to where adjustment is needed, you know, which is basically balancing the camera within the gimbal here. So it's a, you know, basically the center of gravity is centered, you know, the line of access. Now, I notice you've got mm. this piece attached right here. Yeah. Is that a balancing type of deal, or what are you consider doing to that? A, consider a, 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 what you would call Locking a, mechanism? a DIY counterweight, you know? <laughs> I mean, like, my our mentality of our company is, is we just want to keep it simple, you know? Like, if you got a clamp and you want to just use it as a counterweight, totally fine with me, man, you know? And that's what we're doing, you know? Now, what's the, what's the price on this guy running? $899, comes with the batteries for it, power supply to charge it, these little things back here. Okay. And also comes with a stand so you can hold it, so you can balance it, and you don't have to like, you know, you know it's much easier with the stand. <laughs> and battery life? Battery life is about an hour. Okay. And the cool thing about these batteries over, the other systems out there are using like, basically I would say, a, RC uh, batteries? RC batteries. And the problem with the RC batteries is that most of them don't have a battery management system, which okay. is you can discharge that battery completely and it kills it. You know, it's just throw it out. Or even better, the bastard cooks off and cooks your uh, stabilizer. Or you get hurt. Yeah. And then I get sued. So we stepped away from that because we believe that it's much better to use these batteries, which are used by Tesla, because they have a super good output. It's about like, you can get about 10 amps out of this bad boy. Okay. So. And that slides into the top handle? Yeah, it takes about three batteries, and you know, just give you a quick little idea. Just unscrew. I mean, really, like, the other guys have, like, batteries, that, you know, like, look at this handle. I mean, all that grip area, you can mount a monitor to this, you know, or your, your wireless or whatever you want. But you have a lot, oops, more real estate. There's another one in there. So that, that's pretty much it. Takes three batteries, drop them in. Oh, oh wrong way? Uh, yeah. I mean, the battery management system does cover that, so if you do put them in the wrong way, it just won't turn on. You know, awesome. whereas the other RC batteries, if you do it the wrong way, well, there goes everything, you know. And if you've ever, ever cooked off a LiPo battery before, it is, uh, it's fun. They but, can uh, superheat and explode and all kinds of fun stuff. It's probably horribly toxic, too. <laughs> so how much is the three axis version of this run then? We haven't set a price on it, but you're looking about 2000 to, uh, to 2500 for it. When's the release date then? Probably, I don't know, uh, my engineer, Jeff, when do you think we'll have the three axes available? Uh, maybe uh, uh, four to five days, 50 days. 50 days, so probably like, uh, a couple months? Three months, under three months, I'd say two to three months we'll have it. These are going to be ready to go in about uh, under a month, we'll have production going. So. Awesome. And you can order them out on the website, you know, aldolly.com, O W L D O L L Y.com. <laughs> awesome, thank you very much.